It's an unprecedented Larry Barker investigation. New Mexicans paying tens of thousands of dollars more to be treated at some hospitals than they would at others. And they don't know it until they get the bill and a serious case of sticker shock. News 13's Larry Barker investigated for months to give you an inside look at why hospitals do this. It's easier to get information about the cost and quality of a toaster in New Mexico than it is about a major medical procedure. The way the system is structured, it makes it very difficult for many hospitals to credibly justify what they're charging. This was insane. This was madness. It's appalling to me that somebody thinks that they can get away with this. It's a healthcare system gone wrong. Just ask Angel Fire businessman Gene Cavallo. Gene was diagnosed with cancer in 2011. I was terrified and I would, you know, I went in, I was totally gullible. They could have told me it would have cost me a million dollars an hour and I would have said, yes, please save my life. Following a year-long ordeal, they did save his life. But Gene Cavallo's nightmare was just beginning. You see, cancer nearly killed him, and the medical bills nearly bankrupt him. I would go to my mailbox, and there would be five bills in it. One would be for pennies, another one would be for several thousand dollars, another one would be for several hundred dollars. But it just seemed like there was a, you know, a, a computer somewhere just spitting out numbers. Health insurance only picked up part of the tab. So following major surgery, Gene was bombarded with a box full of bills totaling $40,000. I couldn't figure out what I was being billed for. I couldn't figure out why the amounts were what they were. Often the uh, statements that the insurance company sent me bear little or no resemblance at all to the actual bills I got. I couldn't even make heads or tails out of anything. It was just a mass of paper. Gene Cavallo is just one victim caught up in a health care crisis threatening the wallets of consumers nationwide. More than 60% of U.S. bankruptcies are connected to illness or health care debt. The tragedy, Larry, is that in too many cases, New Mexicans are paying more than they can afford and more than they should have to pay. Fred Nathan is executive director of the nonpartisan think tank Think New Mexico. Nathan says the lack of transparency in medical bills costs the average New Mexican hundreds of dollars each year. That translates into millions of dollars statewide. Right now, when you go to a hospital, in many cases, you can't find out the cost of your care until months afterwards, and you usually get a bill that's indecipherable with a little black box that says, pay this amount. I think it's inexcusable that we can't get at least basic information about price and quality in health care. Dr. Neil Shaw is a Boston OBGYN. He heads up a nonprofit called Costs of Care. It's an organization that promotes better health care at lower cost. We spoke with him by satellite. I would say that most of the line items on a hospital bill are not only inflated, but the prices are completely arbitrarily determined. It doesn't make sense to you. It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to most Americans. Uh, but this is a system that's evolved over several decades and uh, very clearly needs to be fixed. So how do hospitals charge for their care? Well, in New Mexico, that's the $13 billion question. And the answer is so complicated that most doctors don't even understand it. However, here's what we do know. First, hospital charges never reflect the actual cost of care. Second, all hospital bills are inflated. And third, hospitals will never tell you in advance the price tag for your care. Well, the reality is that people are blindfolded in effect when they go into a hospital in terms of the cost of their care. Hospital charges are closely guarded secrets, but not anymore. News 13 has compiled a first ever comparison of actual patient charges from all 44 New Mexico hospitals. And what it shows is a bombshell. For example, if you're treated for pneumonia with major complications at Northern Navajo in Shiprock, your bill will be on average $13,000. Get treated for the same illness at Lee Regional in Hobbs, and the bill will average $72,000. That's a difference of almost 
$59,000. A major bowel procedure with complications at St. Vincent in Santa Fe will be billed at about $73,000. Just one hour away at Loveless in Albuquerque, and the charge for the same procedure will be on average $165,000. The difference, $91,000. If you're treated for blood poisoning at UNMH, expect to pay on average $96,000. Get treated for blood poisoning just down the street at Loveless and your bill will average twice as much, $197,000. The hospitals with the highest number of expensive procedures are Loveless in Albuquerque, Eastern New Mexico in Roswell, Lee Regional in Hobbs, and Memorial in Las Cruces. The facilities with the lowest charges are St. Vincent in Santa Fe, Presbyterian and UNMH in Albuquerque, and Rehoboth McKinley in Gallup. Now, just because a hospital hands you a bill doesn't mean you have to pay it. It's all part of the game. There is a virtually nobody pays the bill that they get. That would be fair to say. Stephen Forney is chief financial officer for Loveless Health Systems. He explains medical bills are always discounted depending on which insurance company is picking up the tab. The bill that the patient gets, is that what they're expected to pay? If they, when they get their statement that has the full bill charges, it is absolutely not what they're expected to pay. It is merely a statement of charges. Tell that to Gene Cavallo, who saddled with stacks of cryptic hospital bills nobody could explain. Gene had had enough. There was no way to deal with this that made any sense at all. And so what I decided to do is draw a line in the sand and let the chips fall where they may. It seemed to me that this was a really a terrible injustice that was that I was having to put up with. I was in pain and having to recuperate from my surgery at the same time. And it was abusive and I decided not to play the game anymore. So he boxed up the bills and put them in storage. That was three years ago. One of the reasons why healthcare is so expensive is because it's not transparent. We think that the fix is to create a user-friendly public website where any New Mexican can go and find out information about both price and quality for any of the 100 most common procedures at any of our 44 hospitals in New Mexico. 14 states already have medical transparency websites. Similar legislation has now been proposed for New Mexico. Is it in the hospital's interest to uh, post the prices for their procedures? Absolutely. If, you believe, if you're a hospital and you believe you have fair prices and good quality, you would want the public to know that. And on the other hand, if you don't have good prices and you don't have good quality, then you might want to oppose this bill. The New Mexico Hospital Association says it does support medical transparency. However, it does not support the Think New Mexico proposal. The association says public websites that disclose price and quality are costly to produce and they are not meaningful to most consumers. The hospitals are backing a separate legislative initiative. Both bills are pending in Santa Fe. Larry Barker, KRQE News 13. Larry Barker and the 13 Investigates team have spent months compiling this complicated government documents to develop an unprecedented interactive database. Now you can look at our data to find out what hospitals all across the state are charging for procedures that you or a loved one may one day need. You'll be shocked to see the differences. Our interactive charts can be found on our homepage, that's krqe.com.